All right, thank you very much, uh, Wallace. Uh, my name is Hart Jung. I am the principal engineer from Scarborough Network Technology. So uh, before we jump to the main story of today, my talk, um, I just uh, want to take a couple of minutes just to introduce my uh, company. So who we are, what we are doing, uh, what kind of technology we offer uh, to the cyber testing. Um, so we we a small company in Los Angeles. We we are creating the network virtualization technology uh, in the form of simulation and uh, emulation uh, software. So our technology have a lot of application in the different areas. It can be used for uh, development at the network uh, application software. It can be used for uh, network application performance analysis. Uh, it can be used for testing and cyber assessment for training and so on. So it's quite a various field of application for our technology. So what we offer there is um, the real time and faster than real time uh, simulation emulation platform. Uh, we have very detailed uh, implementation of the various model from physical layer to the link layer, transport layer, network layer, and so on, all the TCP IP layers. Uh, Things like Wi Fi, uh, Cisco router, switch routing protocol, transport protocol, TCP, UDP, and so on. So, those actually come forth with IEEE and IETF IFC standard. So that's why our software can communicate with the real device to provide the LVC representation of the system. And um, we have a wide end external interface that uh, can allow our uh, software uh, talk to other simulations and uh, the real system. Uh, in particular, um, we have extensive a library of cyber behavior model. So we um, we have things like um, jamming, DDoS, firewall, IPsec, uh, virus, uh, botnet, and so on. So even uh, vulnerability exploitation uh, does uh, follow the CVE uh, standard uh, as well. So just a brief introduction of our company. So for more information, you can go to scalable-network.com. Uh, let's jump to the main story of today's talk. So um, today, um, we would like to discuss about some challenges of the cyber testing in the ICS for the power grid. So uh, the cyber security is a complex domain. And um, the cyber testing is a very challenging and very difficult task. Uh, it comes with quite a few uh, serious challenges. And on top of the list is uh, the risk from the IC cyber threat. So when we perform the cyber testing in any system, you probably have to introduce some sort of cyber attack, thing like vulnerability exploitation, DDoS attack, for example on your system and the test. And that makes everyone nervous because that could introduce a certain risk to your system and the test. You compromise, disrupt, or even damage your system and the test. So, so it's really a big challenge there. And another challenge is the last scale system the test. So uh, nowadays the ICS system is a huge you know, it's a big system and uh, we very often find ourselves in a situation we want to test a certain piece of the system to test but you still need to have the rest of the system available so they can provide some relevant information flow to make a meaningful operational relevant cyber testing just just a challenge because now you find yourself that we need to make the whole system available for the test, and even you want to touch a piece of it. Let's say we 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 done with the test. We uh, 
now we review our test result, analyze them, and we, we realize that there are certain test case we need to go after. There are a certain case we need to look at. There are some aspects of the system that we want to deeper understand. In other words, we need new more test case to cover those uh, our uh, finding and analysis. So we need to set up more test case. That means more resource, more time, given the constraint we have, it's a big challenge. The constraint of the time and resource for the testing. And before any test, you need to have a test plan. And very often, uh, the test planner have to decide what a priority of the test case. Because so many things we need to test, so many cases we need to cover, and we need to weigh in and do the trade off see where I should invest my time and resource on what test case, what a priority from that. And that's not an easy task because we don't have a tool to make the selection effectively and justifiable. So the last thing there is when you, before you throw your testing into a cyber test, you want to make sure that they know what they're doing. They skill with uh, their, their cyber test group. In other words, you need to have a proper training. And the proper training require you to have a good training environment, the good training system to test with similar and in the scale of what you intend to test. And that is a challenge because such system is not always available. So that is the brief discussion of the challenge of the cyber testing in the ICS. And um, I would like to take it deeper by using some example here. So let's say uh, we, we need to test uh, the power subsystem and uh, chapter I show you uh, kind of the architecture of the typical power subsystem. Uh, at the low at level, level zero or process level where you have a different sensor, IO device, uh, control component and uh, power equipment. And just uh, just component at the level zero uh, are controlled by the level one, which I would call a control level, where you have a set of ID, intelligent electric device, uh, kind of microprocessor based controller uh, for the power system equipment. Things like circuit breaker, transformers, uh, capacitor, and so on. So those IED uh, get the uh, receiver data uh, from the vessel zero, and it can uh, issue the control command to control the level zero. So basically, you have the closed loop uh, control there. Now, the IED is communicate with level two, where you have the communication level at a, a subsystem. So the ID provide the data measurement uh, to the user interface, to the monitoring system like a SCADA. And it also may push the data out towards the remote control center. So given that uh, uh, system the test, so what kind of risk we have here? So really the question is what type of cyber testing we can afford to perform uh, on this uh, real power system. So let's say you do a pen test, you want to exploit some vulnerability, just will be a dangerous thing because it introduced the risk that you may uh, compromise, you may disable or even damage the network device. Say you want to see how the cyber attack that manipulate the ID data interactive can have a, what kind of impact it have there. It also a risk there because it could lead to the malfunction of ID itself and the control couple of under ID control. So that that's a big challenge, that's a big risk. So in terms of limitation, you you want to test the power source system. Uh, the power system operating in the context of it needs to have a communication with other entity like control uh, center. 
So you still need those entity available and operational exchange of flow information so they can perform this kind of test. And that's, that's a challenge because it's not really available and it's not easy. Or let's say you want to take the substance offline to perform the cyber testing. I don't think it's easy. I don't think it's possible either because this is a production system and when you can have that uh, available window time for that. So we, we perform the cyber testing and now we want to understand more about that, right? So suddenly we realize uh, they are the backup network device uh, where we want to see how that react when the main divide is fell. So I don't know, it's difficult, easy, but sometimes it takes time to uh, activate and reconfigure those backup device. Or uh, let's talk about more difficult case where, where we want to see how your testing chain if your ID traffic load is changed. So the ID traffic load is actually come from level zero where you measure uh, the operation of the send, uh, measure the operation of the power equipment. So how easy to change that? Uh, or maybe very difficult to change that as well. So basically, uh, those test case uh, require have more time and uh, and and resource uh, to make that happen. So we we have a lot of ID configuration there, and the question is how we want to test, what kind of priority, which one is first, which one comes second. So it's not easy question to answer either. And before, like I said, uh, we throw the test team into the test itself. We need to train them properly. So we need to have a very comprehensive test bed to represent that uh, power system uh, for, for the cyber testing. So that's a challenge uh, when we do the cyber testing. And if we take one step further, so now if we look at a bigger picture where we actually want to see how the distribution network uh, can survive a cyber testing, for example. So now you don't have, now you have uh, the bigger system to test. You have a subsystem, like I said before, and now you have another uh, energy plan network, and all of them are kind of connected together through some sort of uh, uh, communication network there. So the similar challenge, we have a similar challenge, but it's more serious. Why? Because now we have a bigger risk. Any exploitation at a certain piece of a system can propagate through a wider area. Say we, we, we actually perform the testing and a subsystem here, but who know uh, the the impact could be go out and uh, spread through the entire uh, distribution network. So it's, it's very big risk. And because of that, we need to think twice, maybe more, before we perform the test. So it, it limit our uh, limit on what we can test. Uh, because now we need to consider uh, carefully for each test case, what kind of impact it have, uh, where, whether we can control the, that impact when we perform the testing. And so, and very naturally that uh, now when we want to do more testing, just mean more time, more resource, more thing to concede. And the test plan now uh, become, become the big deal. So, so many things to test, so many combination, uh, so many what if uh, we need to, uh, to, to do. So basically, uh, the, the challenge it become more and more serious. And training is not easy, if not difficult, more difficult. Because how can we, how can we afford? How can you build the training test bed uh, with a similar scale or some sort of same characteristics like the one uh, we want to test here? So the the challenge is real and serious, and um, we have a, some sort of alternative solution for that. And one of those is 
uh, the simulation emulation tool, which uh, assuming that uh, we can have this tool, and this tool can provide a digital twin model for the IC system, along with its communication network infrastructure. So the digital twin is a concept uh, that um, can define as a digital replica of the physical system, thing like the power subsystem we talk about, distribution network, and the other physical entity like communication network that connect them together. But more importantly, those replica have to be in operating environment. So we have exact the replica of the physical system in a software form. So given that now we can save significant time and resource. So the testing up now is mostly in a scenario configuration. Sometimes it requires some hardware, but maybe not depend on the test case. But the bottom line is it, it really the big deal in terms of time saving and resource saving. Um, it can offer up a huge number of uh, what if analysis. Remember one of challenge is we, we want to extend the test. So that's meaning that we, we want to do a lot of what if analysis when we get the first set of results. We want to explore more. We want to cover more. And the simulation emulation tool provides exactly that because it's easy to change the test guy by just changing the scenario configuration. So now you can have a chance of putting people saw more test case, more corner, more aspect of the test like before. And if the, the tool provides you the real-time capability, now it actually opens up a new space for the cyber testing because you can do that to extend your physical test space. So let's take back example of the power subsystem with the remote control center. So you can represent a remote control center and its communication and its communication network in the form of a digital twin model. So you can extend it change it in a different way you want, depend on what task case you want to perform. So basically now you are having the live virtual constructive environment for the cyber testing. And you can do that entirely to set up a training environment just to address another challenge we talked about before, the training system. Now the training system in the form of the software, so it easy can be used. So a lot of people can do that and affordable. And the last thing is, if you don't care about uh, the speed, so you, you can do the faster real-time capability. So now you can cover that more than test case uh, before. So it allows you to save time and make sure that uh, you understand entirely uh, the cyber aspect of your system of test. So, in summary, uh, the challenge for the cyber testing uh, we talk about here is the risk of the cyber test itself from the cyber attack, the limitation of the system that test uh, with the large scale, uh, the difficult to extend and make a new test, the test planning, and the training for the test team before they actually take the action. Thank you.